Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at rocket fuel, courtesy of Mel Science's rocket fuel kit. If you didn't see my video on the uh, basic lab kit, uh, go check it out. There'll be a link at the end of the video. Here's everything that comes inside the kit. They give you a pair of gloves, and in the basic lab kit, there's also a pair of safety glasses. Make sure to wear them. There's a whole bunch of chemicals that come with this kit, enough to run each of the three experiments twice. And we'll look at this piece of Perspex very shortly. As with all their kits, they include a cool poster for your kid to put on their wall. First, we're going to construct the safety shield. Uh, it's nice of them to include this in the kit, and you could use it with a lot of other experiments. It's a great way to keep you aside from the chemical reactions going on behind the shield. Now I'm going to cheat in this uh, review and I probably won't use this shield much, nor will uh, you see me wearing the gloves, but that's just for demonstration purposes, so make sure you use them safety first. First we're going to make some solid fuel and then ignite it. This is composed of two chemicals calcium nitrate terahydrate and potassium hexacyanoferrate. To prepare the fuel, we're going to use the burner that comes with the basic lab kit. First, mix an entire bottle of each of the two ingredients and stir them together thoroughly. In my kit, the calcium nitrate got stuck on the inside of the bottle, so I had to scrape it out. Set the container of fuel on top of the burner stand, put the tea candle inside and light it, and cover the fuel with a foil cup. This is to remove the moisture from the mixture. Let the mixture heat for 15 minutes, then blow out the tea candle and leave it under the foil cap for a further one minute. Now we have rocket fuel. Get ready to light it and remember to get back behind the shield and to use your safety glasses and let's go. It burns pretty quickly, and now we're just left with ash. Now we're going to make some liquid fuel. We're going to use a magnesium strip and sodium hydrogen sulfate. First of all, we're going to construct the uh, firing system, where basically we're going to generate a spark 
which will ignite the fuel. Bend the paper clips and put them through the holes in the red bung. and shake them until the points are barely touching. You don't want them touching, you want them as close together as you could possibly get them so that we can generate a spark across that gap. Then we're going to wire up this firing mechanism to our pizza gun, which is going to generate a short pulse of electricity. I know this is really hard to see, but you should just be able to notice the spark jumping across the gap. Fill a test tube with the entire bottle of sodium hydrogen sulfate. Then drop in a magnesium strip And put a test tube on the top, let the magnesium react with the fluid and this is going to put gas into that test tube. That's actually going to be our fuel. As quick as you can, move the test tube from the bottle of fluid to your firing assembly. Click away until the spark ignites the fuel and the test tube rocket flies into the air. Finally, we're going to make another form of test tube rocket. We need sodium hydrogen carbonate, which is basically baking soda, and citric acid. Put two to three milliliters of water into a test tube and place it in the beaker uh, there's one provided in the uh, basic kit from Mouse Science, or you can use any beaker. Using the bung from the kit or any other similar item, place one of the tiny little holders into the hole. It's just a convenient way to hold it. And then put a small spoon of both the ingredients into that little mini test tube. Do not seal the top and carefully place it inside the test tube you put water in, but don't let it touch the water. Just lodge it in the top. Then seal the top of the test tube. Quickly tip it upside down in the beaker. And now the powders will fall straight down into the water and react. And that gas that it produces will propel your test tube into the air. I think this is one of the cooler of the mouse science kits. 
who doesn't love launching rockets, right? I think you can have a lot of fun running these kids with your experiments. And you'll notice that uh, in the firing experiments, the test tubes can go right across the room. Mine did. It bounced off the far wall. All in all, I think this kit is very carefully put together and it joins the ranks of all the very solidly constructed and well thought out kits from male science. If you like this video and you want to see more reviews of science kits, please subscribe, please like, and drop me some comments on how you get on running your own experiments. I'd love to hear how that goes. Until then, have fun with science. Cheerio.